sexuality educator. Every day in April, I'll be doing a video about one of the questions in my guide, over 100 questions to ask your kids about sexuality. The guide is free, and if you don't have it, you can get it, either by clicking the I up there or by clicking the link in the description box below. Today I got a question for those of you with tweens, and it is, do you know what pornography is? Some of you may be thinking, porn? Really? Is that an appropriate subject for me to discuss with my 11 or 12 year old? Uh, I think it is, for a couple of reasons. Digital technology has created a world where porn exists in abundance, and access is incredibly easy through phones, tablets, laptops, or any other magical internet-enabled rectangle that your kid may have. And even if your child doesn't have their own phone, or they don't have unsupervised internet access at home, there's a reasonable chance that other students at their school do have devices, or that when they go to visit a friend's house, the computers aren't monitored or locked down the same way they may be at your house. Now, that doesn't mean that your tween or their friends are going around looking for pornography. In fact, there is evidence to indicate that when younger adolescents look at porn, it's often because they found it by accident. Nonetheless, a lot of tweens are just curious about sex, and one innocent but poorly worded Google search can lead to some X-rated results. That's why I think the tween years are a great time to have those first conversations about online pornography. And I actually have another video about that, which, again, I will link up in the magic guy. If your kid is new to the concept of pornography, an age-appropriate way to define it would be to explain that porn are movies, stories, or pictures about adults having sex. This is also the time to mention that pornography is made by adults, and it is also made for adults. This is also a great time to talk about some of your personal values around pornography, and what your expectations are for your tween around pornography. I know that some folks are just not here for porn anytime, in any format whatsoever, and if that is your value, that's fine, you can own that. For me personally, I'm not categorically against porn. I don't have a huge problem with adults watching porn. However, it is not something that I want my child to look at, and I personally really hope that they wait until they are an adult, and until they've had a little bit of real-life sexual experience before they decide whether or not porn is something that they want to engage with. Like I said, a lot of tweens who see online pornography have found it by accident, and it's because they're curious about sex or a certain aspect of sex. And that is very, very normal for youth of that age. Now, if sex and sexuality are a regular, ongoing topic of conversation in your family, your kids are probably more likely to come to you with their questions than they are to, you know, do something like go online or try to Google search answers. If you do discover that your child has been trying to find answers to their questions about sex online, you know, that's very common, and you can let them know that, you know, it's normal and it's okay to be curious. You can also let them know that pornography is not like real life sex. In pornography, there are actors or models, there are scripts, there are even special effects. There are all of these tools that the producers use to try and make the sex in pornography as exciting and as interesting as possible to an audience, just like in any other movie or fictional novel or in a magazine shoot. You can explain to your tween that the reason that pornography isn't an appropriate tool for kids to learn about sex is because it's going to give them the wrong idea about what sex is like in real life. Now, if your tweens do need information or they have questions about sex and sexuality, there are actually some fantastic online resources with frank but age-appropriate information for youth. So I'm going to leave a link to a couple of those websites down in the description box below. I just checked my subscriber count and I have finally topped 100 subscribers, so thank you to everyone who has already subscribed and I hope that you are enjoying this series. If you are enjoying this series and you haven't subscribed, then you can do that just by, you know, clicking that subscribe button. And if you also want to click the bell beside the subscribe button, you will get a notification every time I post a new video. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!
I'm reading this article in Psychology Today and it's comparing porn use statistics from an internet safety company versus porn use statistics from uh, an academic study. And according to the internet safety company, 30% uh, of internet content is pornography. And then according to the academic study, between 4 and 15% of the internet is pornography. 